Hello, and welcome back to the studio. I'm Dr. Wiggo, and today we're going to be talking about the Vision Pro. That's right, it's back. Well, it never left. In fact, I got it out about a month or so ago to watch the Captain America movie, which I can't remember the title of, with Harrison Ford, it, you know. Because it was in 3D on Disney+. Plus. So I said, well, I'll pull that out and watch it. And then I said, well, I need to make a video about the Vision Pro again. Except then all this other stuff happened, and that's the videos you've been watching over the last several weeks. And in those videos where I did the iPad OS 26 and the Mac OS Tahoe 26, I said, and next I'll do the Vision Pro OS 26, Vision OS 26. Yeah, one well, problem. Vision OS 26 does not have a public beta. It only has developer betas. I'm not a developer, so I don't have it. But I promised a Vision Pro video. Primarily, I'm going to be talking about Vision OS 2.6, which came out in July. Yeah, it's not the same. And then I'm going to talk about some of the changes that have been made in the OS over the last year. Then I'll do some demos. Then I will talk about Vision OS 26, but I won't be able to actually show it to you because I don't have it. But I do have the Apple stuff from before, so I'll show that. And then at the end, I'll talk about some of the rumors that have been going around about Vision Pro. And there's some decent ones. So that's where we're going. So the first chapter will be about the OS updates up to 2.6 with some demos. Then I'll talk about Vision OS 26 in the chapter after that, and then we'll talk about the rumors in the chapter after that. So that's where we're going. So the Vision Pro came out in January, of like a year and a half ago, and in September they released Vision OS 2.0, which added some things to photos and did persona improvements. Yeah, somewhat improved. Then 2.1 in October was bug fixes, and then 2.2, in December was the widescreen Mac display, which I demoed in this video right here, where I showed using it as a monitor for my Mac Mini, and I have not really used it for that since. I, again, mainly use it for content, and we'll talk about the content, because there's some good content that's coming along and has come along and is still continuing to come along. Then 2.3 in January was more bug fixes, and then 2.4 in March, they added the Spatial Gallery app, which I will show you in here in a minute, and the Vision Pro app for the iPhone, which I will also show you. Then came Vision OS 2.5 in May, which added a Vision tab in the Apple TV app, which I will show you in here. And 2.6, the most recent one in July, it's again more just bug fixes. But let's talk about some of this stuff that came out. First off, the Vision Pro app. So the Vision Pro app has like new and apps and games this week, and it's some of the new episodes on Apple TV, like Wildlife, new in the Spatial Gallery app, which we'll, which we'll go look at in a minute. Uh, Jurassic World Rebirth just came out in 3D that you can buy on Apple TV. And this week, Superman came out in 3D that you can buy for $30, it's still in theaters. So you can get it in 3D. Why did they release it now when it's still in theaters? Because Peacemaker season two comes out this week and apparently it does a lot of stuff extending the DCU. James Gunn wanted everybody to be able to see Superman before they started watching Peacemaker season two. So you can get Superman now in 3D, which I have purchased and I will be watching later. Beautiful Things app that they, out the best apps to keep near your desk, tape a trip to an interactive museum, new in the spatial gallery. It's basically advertising. Spatial scenes coming in Vision OS 26. We'll talk about that in a little while. But the other thing in this app is you go to My Vision Pro and it tells you what your model is, what version of the operating system you're running. And here's the big thing. It shows you your reader's inserts, so you don't have to find the little card that came with the inserts that are some, they're somewhere around here. But now I can get it right here, and then there's some tips and the Vision Pro user guide. It's not a great app, but it's a decent app. But let's go in here, start in the Spatial Gallery app, 
which is basically just a bunch of things that Apple posts, curates. This was posted by a guy named Kyle Weeks. It's a bunch of flowers. Then we have standing in the remains of an enormous ice glacier. And this is a immersive, a 180. Some of them are 3D, some of them are immersive. This one's immersive. And you can see we're back into aug middle of August and then behind the scenes and dog chasing waves. Whoa, that's a big dog. <laughs> Let's crack a lack and it's your boy, Big Snoopy on double G. You get the idea. It's nice. It's kind of like advertising, and, and also it's a good demo thing. So if, you're, if they're showing it off in the store or if you have a friend over and you're trying to show off, you can pop one of these in. And behind the scenes, here's ads for Chief of War with Jason Momoa. Explore POV. Anyway, you get the idea. It's it's nice. It's really nothing to write home about. But but the other thing is in the Apple TV app, we have a vision tab. And it's got the usual banners, you know, the things it's pushing. There's some really good immersive and 3D content and it's growing. I mean, Minecraft well, here, let's look on down. Here's some immersive things. Bono, this is supposedly amazing. Adventure, they keep adding episodes to that. They got the Metallica, they've added episodes to Wildlife, to Boundless, to Prehistoric Planet. And then you have Thrills. Then you have the recently added 3D movies. And there's Superman, which I have bought and I will be watching later this weekend. And Jurassic World Rebirth, which I haven't bought yet. How to Train Your Dragon, Minecraft movie. Captain America Brave New World, didn't buy it, but it's on Disney Plus and that's where I watched it in 3D. Wicked, you get the idea. A lot of 3D movies. And you think, well, they don't make the movies in 3D anymore, but yes, they do. It's that IMAX 3D. So most of these 3D movies were IMAX 3D or cartoons. But again, Superman was IMAX 3D. Jurassic World Rebirth was IMAX 3D. So there's just tons and tons of content. Vision OS 26, which I thought I was going to show you in this video in a beta form, but uh, not a developer, no beta for me. Vision OS 26 adds widgets, persistent widgets, so you can have like a clock on your wall that'll always be in the same place on your wall in your, in your room and picture frames and all sorts of stuff, which is probably showing from the Apple video from the announcement. Spatial scenes and photos where you can take any photo and turn it into a spatial scene. They've already been doing that. In iPadOS and iOS 26 betas, you can do that with all any picture and then make it your wallpaper. And then so when you open your phone or think it's like, well here, this is my filthy iPad. See, it's kind of 3D-ish. Of course, in here, it'll be real 3D. Oh, spatial browsing in Safari, where you'll be able to be on the web going through things, and you'll be able to interact with things and zoom in and get spatial stuff in Safari in here. The personas are amazingly improved in Vision OS 26, even in the betas that people have seen. They look way more like people and way less uncanny valley. Shared spaces where you can be in the same 3D space with other people in other Vision Pros, so you're all interacting with the same scene and the same objects. Especially good for enterprise. You can have people FaceTime in. Save setups on iPhones. If you have friends, they can set it all up and then it will save the setup and the eye registration and the hand everything to their phone, 
so that if they come back in a couple of weeks, they can call that up and don't have to go through the setup process and I registration and all that stuff again. Very handy and again, very good for enterprise because you can have multiple people sharing a Vision Pro because they are still $3,500. They've announced new accessories which will be available with Vision OS 26. The Logitech Muse, it's like a pencil that you can draw in 3D in the air. I hope I have someone actually doing that. It's not just me doing this. And the Sony PSVR 2 game controllers will also work now. So you'll be able, you'll be able to game on in here using the PSVR 2 controllers. Of course, I gave my PSVR 2 away, but who knew I'd be able to use the controllers a year later? Native playback of 180 and 360 videos from GoPros and Insta360s and ca certain Canon cameras. Plus, look to scroll so that when you're reading something and you get to the bottom, it'll start scrolling very slowly. That's a quick preview of Vision OS 26. Now let's talk about the rumors. The Vision Pro 2. According to all the skinny, it's going to have an M5 chip. Same basic hardware, except they're going to possibly come up with a better strap. Like that would be hard. Well, this Anapro V2 that I have, that works great for me. May not work for you, but it works great for me. And the hot part of this rumor is, as soon as the end of 2025. So we may have a Vision Pro 2 in 2025. And no, I will not be buying one because it's going to be the same bulky thing. It'll have a faster processor, but I'll limp along until something better comes along. The other big rumor is Apple's going to bring out smart glasses in 2026. Now, they're not going to be the AR glasses that they want to get to. This is just going to be like the Meta Ray-Bans and those things where there'll be some functionality, but it will not be, you'll not see things floating in front of you and 3D objects that you can play with. That's down the road, 2027, 2028. And then, of course, the other rumor that's still persisting and and has some backup, is they're going to redesign a, a lighter, cheaper version of the Vision, but they're going to call it the Vision Air, maybe. Again, rumors. And that's rumored to be 2027. So we may get another Vision Pro, an updated Vision Pro with a M5 processor by the end of the year or probably the beginning of next year, of 2026. And then the Vision Air, the one people will be better able to afford, will come out in 2027. So that's my Vision Pro report. I'm sorry I couldn't show you Vision OS 26, but again, I don't have access to developer betas. I'm not sure I want it. And there is no public beta, so there was no way for me to show you what it is other, other than the Apple clips from their announcements, which may or may not be what it actually looks like because, you know, remember Smart Siri? Still coming, so they say. So that's really it for today. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing next week because I don't know. I have like seven videos I need to make over the next few weeks. I want to get ahead a little. And they're on all sorts of topics. I got a tripod. I got, I got all sorts of stuff. But there will be a video every Sunday as always. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye bye. Now I got to go start working on all these other videos I got to make. Thanks for staying to the end. Bye bye.